What's up YouTube? Welcome to a brand new video and tutorial. My name is Eric and today we are talking about sound effects and sound design and how you can nail that even if you don't understand sound as much as video. Let's head right into that. So sound design is probably the most underrated thing when it comes to videography. So the short clip you just saw is from a video I make for a friend of mine who does amazing handcrafted snowboards and ski. Go check him out. I leave you a link in the description. Now let's check out how this will look with only sound effects and without music. As you can see this edit works great without music just with sound effect and that's because there are so many different layers of sound effect in this video. But where to get them? Now Final Cut Pro offers a big library of sound effects which are free to use and they are quite good as well. But what if you can find the right sound for your video? You can simply search the internet and rip somewhere off or you use a library like Epidemic Sounds. They have license free effects and tons of great music. Now this video is of course not sponsored by Epidemic Sound, it's simply what I use and pay. But if you want to sponsor my videos Epidemic Sound, I'm here, hit me up. Anyway, when you got the sound you were looking for, simply bring them into your timeline, move them to the right spot and I recommend to turn off the music by pressing V and listen to the effect itself. Make it less or more louder. In this case I use the sand movement and coffee maker fill to create the sound of the coffee falling into the handle. Which probably makes no sound at all but it helps selling the shot. The fill is way too heavy and crispy so I searched for low pass and dropped it over the sound. Then I played with the parameters to make it less crispy. Now let's look into the video while watching the sound timeline so you can get a bit more better feeling what I used for what. We're starting outdoors in a city so I used the city sound to bring a bit more ambiente. Now of course the typewriter sound for the text and a footstep sound which is less louder when the camera moves away from his feet. As you hear a whoosh for the speed ramp and a lock for the keys to open the door. A bunch of different whooshes, the sand and coffee fill up I showed you previously and a muffled drop for the stamp pressing the coffee into the handle. For the handle locking I used the lock sound from the door which we seen before. I cut it in two and slowed the sound down to, to about 65%. The coffee mug sound is from Epidemic Zone, simply a coffee mug. Now when the machine starts there is a pump sound from Epidemic Sound as well and there is a sound where liquor is poured into a cup. And of course the stopwatch because we are waiting uh, for our coffee to be finished. As the coffee is ready, we have that little bing from a little bell um, to release the tension of the stopwatch, you know. Some footsteps on concrete while he's walking towards the stairs. And finally, I used footsteps on wood to sell the shot on the stairs. The sipping is an amazing sound from Epidemic Sounds as well. Sounds really crispy, really good and 
uh, footsteps on wood again. As you can see, sound effects can really help you telling a story and give the person who is watching a way better experience. As I said before, my name is Eric. I do Final Cut 10 Pro tutorials and free plugins. So please check out all my other videos. If you haven't already, smash that sub button down there right now. And I would say, see you in the next one.